So Doug, tell me about how Group Operations is looking at the data and analytics COE and what kind of opportunities you see there. We have tons of information in our plants. Um, more importantly, we have hundreds and thousands of sensors that provide real-time information into our computer systems. The challenge is, historically, is for people to go through and interrogate that. And so what excites me is the opportunity to potentially use artificial intelligence to help us do it faster. I think the challenge will be you know, where shouldn't we use it? It's limitless, the things we can do. So if we automate more and more of the, our operations, then what does that mean for individuals? Mm -hmm. Look, for some individuals, it'll mean a great opportunity, lots of new skills and new information, new insights to do things with, to make their job better. For other individuals, it may not make a lot of change. So for example, if you're a person maintaining a physical asset in the field, you know, whether it's a mine or a station, um, that may not change directly because computers yet still can't go and you know, change a bearing. But um, they may give you better information about why the bearing failed to, how, to allow you to make a better repair. Broadly, life will be easier. People will be busy, but they'll be busy doing different things, hopefully higher value things. And so we shouldn't fear automation and new technology. We should embrace it. Uh, I've long been a believer in, in data and data insights. And for many, many years, I've talked about the ability to go from data to results at the speed of light. And that takes data and data excellence to get us there. The technology now exists to do that. So when I think about the static yaw uh, project, that's really taking the wind turbines and adjusting them very small amounts to harness the wind. This uh, yaw alignment process looks at a bunch of data, not only of the current wind, but it looks at the wind of the wind turbine before it, and the wind turbine before it, and the wind turbine before it, and it optimizes all of that. And that's what data can do. So when you look at the way the, your, your team, the group operations team, and the data and analytics mm -hmm. COE team, the data scientists have worked together, uh, what kind of things do you see them doing in the future? Yeah. Look, I, I'm really glad they've really started to collaborate really, really well. So I think creating this digital uh, and analytics team is brought us together, the Centre of Excellence is kind of creating the capabilities and I guess the way of us understanding what the possibilities could be. And I think that's the opportunity for us is continue to work together, explore the possibilities together. And, and what kind mm. of things do you see in the energy industry that could make use of this capability? Oh, well, um, we're not. I think of yeah. batteries, virtual power plants, uh, orchestrating all of our assets together. Bring out your ideas. When we sit down with people who don't think about problems the same way, we get better solutions and different solutions. Even if you're not sure it's a good idea, bring it forward and let's put it on the table and see how it goes.